What's going on guys? Welcome to Jules Mads. So it's currently like half four. We've literally just got to Ironworks, me and Jay. Um, it's upper body rotation two today. So we're about to smash out a big session. So as you can see, I've got this big ass box here. So I've got something pretty cool to show you later. Um, but for now, we're both pretty buzzing because we've changed shift at work. So we're on a four day week. So end of Thursday now. Actually we've finished work for three days now. So hopefully we can carry some of these good vibes into the session and have a sick session. Yeah, so we've got the session all rolled out. I've got my squash in here, ready to go. Yeah, it's got shit. So yeah, let's go inside and get into the session. Gotta go off on it. I just know to put the sauce on it. I don't care about the costs on it. I just gotta get lost on it. I'm just tryna break loose. I'm about to let the fuse. I just need me a cup. I'ma pour me the juice. <laughs> I got the juice now. I got the juice now. I got the juice now. I got the juice. Uh, I got the juice now. I got the juice now. I got the juice now. I got the juice. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I welcome it. Let me take a moment and introduce you to some better men, a better man like Letterman, but still next wave. Never see me off air 'cause you know my best days are ahead of me. The editing and pedigree is all in one. Rip every single head off, but it's all in front. The competition don't exist. We don't follow them. They follow us, hoping to get a glance. Of a better me. See, I got the juice, it, I got the crackers, I got the wine, but they got it backwards. Whoever thought that religion could be this good, but don't turn all of us rappers to pass us. Communion, the union of dopeness is plastered all over the wall, and they ain't even ask us. My God is the Father, you know we came after the gangsters, the orphans, and all of us bastards. Adopted and not some options have been presented to me. I'm like an automatic weapon on a mercenary. They just wanna see the blood, they don't wanna see the heavy heart attached to it all, even though I'm good and ready. Able to deliver whatever the situation is calling for, I'm capable of more than playing roles. Awkward, then it's our turn to do the opposite. Now it's very obvious we go I just gotta go off on it. I just know to put the sauce on it. I don't care about the costs on it. I just gotta get lost on it. I'm just tryna break loose. I'm about to let the fuse. I just need me a cup. I'ma pour me the juice. <laughs> I got the juice now. I got the juice now. I got the juice now. I got the juice. Uh, I got the juice now. So, home from training, nearly time to see what is in the box, but first of all, it's time for some food. So inside this little box is the hoodie's a little bit of a giveaway. But as you can see, some TM Nutrition hoodies. This is the front. That's what we've got on the back. Team TM Nutrition. So I've just had these made. Also got t-shirts, which we've got the TM Nutrition just in small print on the front. So I've had a load of these made. I've had I had 16 hoodies and just over 20 t-shirts made. Um, I've had these for exactly a week now, and like I say, I've got rid of most of them. Um, lots of friends, clients, and stuff like that has had them, but I absolutely love them. Um, I was super excited to get these done. Um, I've been toying with the idea for a long time, making some designs and so on. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with how they've turned out. They're all black with obviously this TM Nutrition emblem on the front. I kind of made this um, on an app online and then just attached this. But yeah, like I say, I'm absolutely buzzing with them. Um, I've done it because obviously it helps spread awareness of my TM Nutrition. It's nice for to be able to give something to clients and for people that follow like TM Nutrition and stuff to feel like they're a part of something because I've always seen like the whole team thing is very cool. Um, and I think other lot, other people like to be involved with something. So, Team TM Nutrition is official. So we've got these, um, hopefully. I've had a few people messaging asking that they'd like one also. So um, at some point I'd definitely like to get some more made. But yeah, so they fit pretty cool. Hoodies, t-shirts, I've even cut one of the vests, which you've obviously just seen uh, me training. I did the cut off. Um, because yeah. So as you can see, it is currently just before 11 o'clock. I've already managed to dust off like nearly 7K steps this morning. Um, I've been for a nice walk into Solihull. 
and I've just been to collect some books, so I will show you what I've got. Let me just lay that down. So, I bought quite a few books before the holiday, but absolutely smashed them. So this is Greg McKeown. This, oh yeah, Essentialism. The Disciplined Pursuit of Less. I actually listened to a podcast on this and it sounded really good, so that's why I've got that. I've got this, The 48 Laws of Power, because I've heard good things and someone at the gym mentioned it to me the other day, so I thought I'd get that. This one is Rich Dad Poor Dad. I've seen this and it's super, it looks super cringe, but at the same time, I do love learning um, about things to do with like money and so on. Um, the book, The Richest Man in Babylon, is probably the best one I've read yet. That's all to do with like saving and all that sort of stuff. So if I can get a few little nuggets out of that, this will be cool. And then last but not least, it's a bit annoying because I ordered these to be delivered in store, but they all came on different days. So I've ended up having to wait. And then this is a book called Relentless. From good to great to unstoppable. So yeah, it's about sports, but as well as, to be honest, I don't really know. But the write-up online sounded really good. So they're just some new books. So yeah, it's Friday morning. I'm gonna get stuck into some check-ins. Okay, so. Dieting fast or slow, which one is best? How do you know which one is for you? I'm gonna try and explain the best I can. So basically, do you want to diet fast or slow? You've probably heard a lot of people um, say, oh, you need to do it slowly because of such and such reasons. And you'll find a lot of people like to rush the body fat off very quickly um, for whatever reason which they both have their place and I did a little bit of research on this before doing the video and there's studies and stuff like that which I had a little look at and there's arguments for both to be honest but it's pretty simple um, and the answer as always is it depends um, so I'm going to tell you exactly why, but I just want to quickly show you something which has just come through the post, which is pretty cool. Juice box. Junkie juice box. Uh. Mother lover, you gonna love this. Graduated from a rebel to a revolutionary in my area. This is the brand new reflex. ISO Pro 2 So lemon meringue with reflex crunchy pieces This is a carb and whey protein powder So as you can see per serving what have we got? 100 gram you get 55 gram of carbs, 25 gram of protein, and a very small amount of fat. And the ingredients are all from very good sources. It's all, so I'm very much looking forward to trying this. I'm not gonna do a taste test on this video, but I will do one over on my Instagram, if you check that out, if you follow me on there, and no doubt I will have this on my next YouTube video. So, Again, as always, if you want to use my discount, get the PT McDonough 77 code for 40% off to save you some money. And that is the new Reflex product. Just thought I'd give you a quick show of that in between the talk and let's get back to it. Right then, so I don't want to bore you for too long, but okay, so there's gonna be people that find it very hard to stay motivated. Those types of people that get on the scale every single morning and are very up here with the scale weight and 
they're the kind of people that it gets to Friday and that scale hasn't dropped then they're gonna binge, binge eat and eat like crap on the weekend then they might lean towards um, a faster approach, a more aggressive diet. I'm actually one of those people, um, for certain reasons, not the reasons I've just mentioned, but I much prefer um, a quicker diet. I've always just performed well. I'm the kind of person, so, before I go off on another tangent, Another very good trait of somebody that wants to work, it wants, it might be a good fast, um, might respond better to a fast diet, is somebody that doesn't necessarily care about the sacrifices or the amount of work they have to put in. So, me example, I will happily drop food low um, and bust out a lot of cardio and work my ass off like I've got that work ethic. Um, and I'm not trying to be like, oh, I've got work ethics up, so I'll smash it. Because people that do the longer dieting, it's a completely different type of work ethic. So I'm not trying to be like, oh, if you've got work ethic, you have to do a fast diet. That's not what I'm trying to say. But if you're the kind of person that's happy to kill yourself and really smash it for a short six, eight, ten weeks, obviously depending on how much fat you've got to lose, then that is another great component. But then you've got the other side. Um, which I actually think is the better way of dieting personally is because most people, especially a lot of people that I help, they haven't got the, when they come to me, they haven't got the best nutrition knowledge. So um, they need to learn about it, um, build great habits, which obviously happens from doing a slower diet. People tend to need to lose more weight, will may respond better to a slower diet. Um, a lot of people have poor relationships with food, so if, they're, they, if they diet too hard, they can't handle it, so they'll end up binge eating or getting cravings and things like that. Um, so that's another great thing. The difference between a slow diet, people will get cravings and struggle with that and they might eat off plan, but then the, the fast diet people, they may still get cravings, but they're kind of, they may have the discipline just to, just to forget about it and zone out. In regards to the amount of muscle mass you might lose, um, it's very hard to say. I wouldn't say either is worse, better or worse. So whichever route you go down, you're not necessarily going to maintain or lose uh, much difference in regards to muscle mass because food might be kept higher on the slow diet than the short diet, then obviously that diet's a little bit longer, whereas the other diet will be a little bit shorter. Um, so, to give you a nice quick answer, there isn't a better way. You need to find what works for you, and the only way you're going to do that is by trial and error. So, when I talk about short diets, um, I don't want people to get confused me thinking oh everyone can just do a four or six week diet because I definitely do not mean that. It obviously all depends on how much weight you need to lose. Um, if you're quite out of condition and you can't see any visible abs then it's very likely that you've got quite a bit of weight to lose. Obviously it depends on how lean you want to get, potentially over a stone, two stone, three stone and you have to work it out that a diet, even a fast one, will really be a maximum of about three pound a week. That's a fast diet. If you're coming down three pound every week, that is a very fast diet. A slower diet may be between one and two pound. Like that's the perfect scenario, one or two pound a week. But you've got to think some of these weeks you won't progress as well. So even a fast diet is only about three pound a week. So if you've still got a couple of stone or something like that to lose, um, it's still gonna need a decent um, time frame. So I'm not gonna bore you any longer. That's my little bit of advice on fast and slow dieting, trial and error. Certain types will work for certain people. It all depends on um, the person. And just one more thing I've just thought that I wanna to add to that is, it all depends on um, the slow diet and might also not, it all depends on how you might rebound from a diet as well. Um, someone that's done something quite slow might not rebound as bad because they haven't had to dig as deep and like be, do you know what I mean? Have the whole dieted effect as bad uh, because they might have dieted a little bit slower, enjoyed their food a little bit more. Whereas the people on this side that's rushed a diet um, to get their 
to get into shape and so on, then there's a very good chance they might rebound a lot worse if they're not experienced. Um, definitely, if you're experienced, then you can go in, get it done, and come back out and try and get back to your normal habits. So, that's it for this video. Apologies for the talk, I've stayed looking at this camera the whole time, should have moved myself around. But anyway, I wanted to get this video up. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you liked the new TM Nutrition hoodies. Um, if by any chance you want one of those, just let me know. Uh, I'm not saying I've got them, but it'll just give me an idea about if I ever want to make any orders in the future. So, thank you very much for watching. Junkie Juice Box. Uh, mother lover, you gon' love this. Graduated from a rebel to a revolutionary in my area, they love this.